It's Friday night, and that means high school football on CBS 17. This is The Blitz. It is week five of the high school football season, and tonight we were at South Garner High School where the tussle for the tower was on full display with crosstown rival Garner in town. This is not a long-standing rivalry, but it's quickly becoming one of the must-watches each season with bragging rights on the line, so you know that pregame pep talk from Coach Green was going to be legit. They say we are Garner. This is our house, though. It's our house. You wipe your feet when you come in our house. You hear me? Yes, sir. Wipe your feet when you come in our house. Respect this house. They don't want to respect it. You take their respect. You hear me? Yes, sir. Play within the rules. Play with respect. Play with passion. Poise. Purpose. Y'all got me? Yes, sir. I love every last one of y'all. Everybody touch somebody. Dear Lord, the battles we go through in life. Dear Lord, the battles we go through in life. We ask for a chance that's fair. We ask for a chance that's fair. Chance to equalize stride. Chance to do it there. We should win. Let it be by the code. Faith, honor, hell high. We should lose. Stand by the road. Cheers, the winners go by. Day by day. Get better, better. Get better, better. We can't be beat. We can't be beat. We won't be beat. We won't be beat. I'm ready to go after that tough start, though, for the visiting Trojans. Starting quarterback Braden Selvage injures his ankle early in the first quarter and is out for the game. Garner has to turn to freshman signal caller Christian Ormandy, and the youngster delivers in the rivalry game, connecting with Isaiah Dawson for the first score of the game. It's 6-0, Garner. The Trojans' defense has been outstanding all season and was again tonight, coming up with a big third down stop, putting an end to a South Garner drive. The Titans had their chances to turn this game around. Instead of getting the pick six here, the Trojans get a big gain. Or Mandy to Dawson again. The Trojans will then cash it in. Dawson scores his second touchdown of the night. The timeout of the uh, shotgun, 14-0. Garner at the break. Halfway through the third quarter, South Garner finally gets on the board. Quarterback James Johnson finds his favorite target, Zaire Hines, and we've got a game. It's 14-6 Garner. The South Garner defense then gets into the act. Check out this big hit by Andre Sanders. Oh, the Titans will get one more chance late in the fourth to tie the game. Theo Skinner comes up with the interception with two and a half minutes to go in the game. Just over a minute to go now, South Garner. Facing fourth and three. Johnson's pass. Drops back deep. It's going to fall incomplete. Plain spoiler for you. And Garner travels down the road and avenges their only loss to South Garner from a year ago. 14-6 is the final. Trojans first-year head coach, Deron Donald Stoked with the win. That was great. It's great for the school, great for the kids, great for the team, great for the community. Uh, listen, you know, we the old Garner. And so we want to always remain relevant. We want to always do what we're supposed to do. And we always want to let everybody know, hey, Garner starts with the blue and gold. My starting quarterback went down. He's the leader of my football team. Christian Ormody, a freshman quarterback, came in and did a tremendous job. Uh, just kind of stay poised and learning on the fly like that for a young guy. That was big, especially in the environment like this with the defense they, they had. But we were able to find a way. So I'll take an ugly loss, I mean, an ugly win any day. Not often you have about over 100 people at a high school game hours before the game itself, but that's the kind of impact the greatness of Garner pregame celebration has made. This idea came from South Garner assistant principal Xavier Wallace. He said because South Garner is a newer school, he wanted to do something to unify the town of Garner. They invite all 13 schools out. There's food trucks. Each cheerleading team performs the perfect family-friendly event to get everyone excited for the game itself. You know, honestly, it's just amazing. I'm super thankful for the opportunity. Uh, you know, it's something that we've done historically uh, since I've been at South Garner, and we want to keep the tradition alive. Every year since we've done it, it's grown and grown and grown. Uh, so I'm just looking forward to see what it looks like 25 years from now. All right, everyone, take a knee, helmets off, time to take a break, relax a little bit. That was some intense football action we saw. So to wind down, we're going to take the edge off and we hand over the sights and sounds to our band of the week from South Garner High School. Two, one, two, three, four.
out to that. What you guys did not get to see was Rod Carter with the moves here in the studio. <laughs>